uranium. This element sits at the very end of the periodic table. It's a heavy metal, dense and potent. We know it best for its role in nuclear power. Uranium fuels the reactors that generate electricity for millions. But how does it work? How do we go from digging up ore to powering our homes with this element? Understanding uranium is crucial. It holds a key to our energy future, for better or for worse. Uranium is not your average element. The key lies in its isotopes. Isotopes are atoms of the same element with the same number of protons, but different numbers of neutrons. Uranium has several isotopes, but two are particularly important, uranium-238, U-238, and uranium-235, U-235. U-235 is the star of the show in nuclear reactors. This chain reaction is the key to unlocking uranium's immense energy potential. Our journey begins deep within the Earth's crust, where uranium ore lies hidden. Uranium mining is the first step in this energy odyssey. There are several methods for extracting uranium ore. Open pit mining involves digging large, open holes to access the ore. Underground mining utilizes tunnels and shafts to reach deeper deposits. In situ leaching, a less invasive technique involves injecting solutions to dissolve the uranium and pump it to the surface. The next stage takes us to milling and refining facilities. Here the uranium ore undergoes a series of chemical processes to extract and purify uranium. The ore is first leached with acid or alkaline solutions to dissolve the uranium. This creates a uranium-rich solution which is then separated from the remaining ore. The final product of the milling process is yellow cake. Yellow cake still contains impurities so it undergoes further refining to produce uranium oxide, U308, with a higher purity. Remember U235, the fissile isotope? Natural uranium only contains a small percentage of it, around 0.7%. For nuclear reactors we need a higher concentration of U235, typically around 3-5%. This is where uranium enrichment comes in. Enrichment involves increasing the proportion of U-235 in uranium. There are various enrichment methods, but the most common one uses gas centrifuges. This separation process is repeated multiple times to achieve the desired enrichment level. Now that we have enriched uranium, it's time to turn it into fuel for nuclear reactors. This involves converting the enriched uranium into a form suitable for use in fuel rods. The first step is to convert uranium oxide into uranium hexafluoride, or UF6, a gas at relatively low temperatures. The UF6 gas is then used to produce uranium dioxide, or UO2, powder. This powder is pressed into small cylindrical pellets. These pellets are then stacked and sealed inside metal tubes called fuel rods. We've arrived at the heart of the matter electricity generation. Inside the reactor core, the enriched uranium fuel undergoes nuclear fission. When a U-235 atom is struck by a neutron, it splits into lighter elements, releasing a tremendous amount of energy in the form of heat. This heat is used to generate steam. The steam drives turbines, which in turn power generators to produce electricity. Control rods made of materials that absorb neutrons are used to regulate the rate of fission and prevent overheating. Nuclear power, while a potent energy source, comes with a significant caveat radioactive waste. The fission process produces radioactive byproducts that require careful handling and storage. These byproducts emit radiation that can be harmful to living organisms. Spent nuclear fuel, the used fuel from reactors, is highly radioactive and requires long-term storage. There are ongoing efforts to develop safe and permanent disposal solutions, such as deep geological repositories. Uranium-based energy technology, while offering a carbon-free source of electricity, has environmental implications that cannot be ignored. Uranium mining and milling can generate radioactive tailings, waste material left over after extracting uranium from the ore. 
These tailings need to be managed properly to prevent contamination of surrounding areas. Nuclear power plants themselves have a relatively small land footprint compared to other energy sources. Ensuring the safety and security of nuclear facilities is paramount to prevent disasters. The field of nuclear technology is constantly evolving. Researchers and engineers are working on innovations to enhance safety, improve efficiency, and reduce waste. One promising area is the development of next-generation reactors such as small modular reactors or SMRs. SMRs offer enhanced safety features and can be deployed in a wider range of locations. Another intriguing possibility is the use of thorium as a nuclear fuel. Thorium is more abundant than uranium and produces less long-lived radioactive waste. From the depths of the earth to the heart of nuclear reactors, uranium's journey is one of incredible transformation. This element, with its unique properties, holds the key to unlocking vast amounts of energy. Nuclear power offers a carbon-free source of electricity, a crucial factor in mitigating climate change. However, it's not without its challenges. As we move forward, a balanced approach is crucial. The future of energy is a tapestry woven from various sources, and uranium with all its complexities will undoubtedly play a role.